In this video, we will solve three arrow function exercises. We will start with an easy one. Let's write an arrow function that returns the string hello world. When there are no arguments in an arrow function, the left hand side of the fat arrow is an empty argument list, denoted by two parentheses. The right hand side is the hello world string expression. This arrow function transforms no arguments to a string. Let's execute the function, console log the result, and observe the output string using Node.js. As you can see, hello world is locked to the console. This was an easy one. Moving on to exercise 2. We will write an arrow function that expects an array of integers and returns the sum of the elements in the array. We will use the reduce method on the array to compute the sum. The sum method will be an arrow function transforming its input to a reduce expression. Reduce works with an accumulator to compute the reduction and takes two arguments. The first argument is a function to define the operation between the accumulator value and the upcoming element of the array from left to right. The second argument is the initial value of the accumulator. Let's console log the results. Once the code is executed, the correct result is displayed. For variety, we can also execute the code in the Chrome developer tools. Copy-paste the code in the console and execute the sum function. The result is obviously the same. If you are interested in monitoring the execution of reduce, console log the input arguments in the arrow function. A is the value of the accumulator and B is the upcoming array element. You can see how the sum is calculated step by step. The third exercise is interesting. We will have to rewrite a code segment by using arrow functions. The text of the exercise also indicates that using arrow functions won't always make sense. Let's check the code. We have an entity constructor with a name and delay field and a greet method. The greet method prints a greeting once the delay has passed. Following the usual sarcastic jokes about Java, we will define a Java and a C++ object and execute the greetings. Obviously, Java will be a lot slower. You can see that the C++ greeting arrives almost instantly. Five seconds later, the Java greeting arrives. We have three functions in total in this code example. The constructor function, the greet prototype extension, and the callback of the set timeout call. It does not make sense to replace the entity constructor because we need the unique context to be able to create objects. It doesn't make sense to replace the prototype extension greet either as we make use of its default context. Remember, in both cases, an arrow function would bind the scope of the function to the external scope. This would make it impossible to create objects with unique context and access these contexts in methods. It makes perfect sense to replace the function argument of set timeout with an arrow function. Notice that the context binding can also be removed in the solution. Once we execute the code, you can see that we preserved all the functionality.